Kamala Harris will be in Raleigh next week with her new running mate by her side. The Harris campaign says she will announce the running mate in the coming days, and then they will crisscross the country together. Their first stop together will be Philadelphia on Tuesday. They will also visit Wisconsin and then go to Detroit, Savannah, Phoenix, and Las Vegas next week, along with Raleigh. Former President Donald Trump's running mate, J.D. Vance, is calling Harris a disloyal American. He held a campaign event last night in Reno, Nevada, saying opening the border to millions of migrants is threatening to bankrupt Medicare. Vance continues his western swing with California fundraisers and rallies, as well as a visit tomorrow to the U.S.-Mexico border in Arizona. Next week with her new running mate, but by her side, the Harris campaign says she will announce that running mate in the coming days, and then they will crisscross the country together. First stop together will be in Philadelphia Tuesday, then they'll visit the state of Wisconsin, and then cities Detroit, Savannah, Phoenix, and Las Vegas next week, along with Raleigh. Harris drew her largest crowd yet at a rally last night in Atlanta. Thousands packed the Georgia State University Arena for her high-energy speech, including former Georgia State Representative Stacey Abrams and a few award-winning music stars. Harris says she is proud of her record as she spoke out against GOP attacks. I went after transnational gangs, drug cartels, and human traffickers that came into our country illegally. I prosecuted them in case after case, and I won. Donald Trump... <laughs> Donald Trump, on the other hand, has been talking a big game about securing our border, but he does not walk the walk. Or as my friend Quavo would say, he does not walk it like he talks it. Former President Donald Trump and his running mate, J.D. Vance, are hosting a rally in Atlanta Saturday. The president of the National Association of Black Journalists is responding to the resignation of the co-chair of the Chicago Convention. Former President Trump is expected to deliver remarks there today. Karen Atia says in part because she was not consulted about former President Trump being part of the event. The president of NABJ says the organization has a long-standing practice to invite presidential nominees from both political parties to address the group. A source tells NBC News Kamala Harris is unable to attend for logistical reasons and that NABJ turned down a plan to have her attend virtually. Meanwhile, the director of Project 2025 has stepped down as the Trump campaign continues to distance itself from the controversial plan. Paul Dance and about 140 people who worked in the Trump administration project 2025 contributed to the document. The former president said he had no idea who was behind it. Trump's team slammed the conservative playbook effort, saying reports of its demise would be, quote, greatly welcomed. Today, House lawmakers are scheduled to vote on overriding three vetoes by Governor Roy Cooper. House Bill 556 would stop local governments from punishing landlords who refuse to rent to people who use federal housing assistance. Cooper says it would make it harder for people to find affordable rental housing. House Bill 155 would allow more modified utility vehicles on more streets, primarily in beach communities. Cooper rejected it over safety concerns. And House Bill 690 would ban state agencies from accepting or testing digital currency. Cooper called in an overreaction. Any veto overrides would also need to be overridden by the Senate.